Hi guys, it's Timmy, and I'm back again on Trails of Ireland with JJ Cabinet. Now today, I'm really excited to bring to you my top five things in this city because we're in my hometown of Dublin. Now, Dublin is really, really well known, obviously, for its pizzazz, its pomp, its daring, and its boldness. But today, it's really important that I show you a really eclectic mix of all these things. And you know, the goal, the cool thing about it is actually JJ Cabinet runs 52 services a day in Dublin. So there's really no excuse for you guys to miss my top five things to do and see in Dublin. So without much further ado, number five, Tola Vintage. I think Tola Vintage really encapsulates all the things I said about Dublin, which is that creative and pizzazz kind of energy. And it's run by two people, a couple with a baby, who just have an amazing store and it's right in the heart of Temple Bar, so you can't miss it. Check out Tola Vintage for all your vintage wear and actually I think they have loads of really cool upstyle things as well, so definitely check them out. Now, number four is Teeling's Whiskey. And Teeling's Whiskey is one of those places that really embodies the creative spirit because it's a really proud heritage of brewing in this family. And it can really be seen actually in a copper pot stills in a brand new facility that are actually named after Jack Teeling's three daughters, Rebecca, Alison, and Natalie. And I think you need to check this place out because the tour itself is actually spectacular. And the best bit is the toast at the very, very end. Now, number three, bread and bones which is actually my favorite place to eat. I eat there almost every day, and this is not even a lie. It's hurting my pockets an awful lot. But it's a great mix of music, art, and food in one place, and it is absolutely brilliant. It's the, probably the most authentic Asian place in Dublin, and I'd really recommend it to you. Anytime you come down, make sure you check out Bread and Bones in the Millennium Walkway. Number two, is Dublin Castle and Dublin Castle is just one of those places you can't come to Dublin and not visit because it is steeped in so much history it has so much around it and I'd really recommend you go down to it because the library down the back is just absolutely beautiful and so are the gardens and the architecture is amazing if you can get a tour of inside the castle I'd really recommend that because it is absolutely spectacular and last but not least is number one the Croke Park Skyline Tour. If you think you've seen Dublin, you haven't seen Dublin until you get onto the top of Croke Park because it is absolutely fantastic. It gives you 360 degree views of everything to see in Dublin from an angle that you've never seen it from before. And I can't put into words how great it is. You just have to get down there. The so Croke Park Skyline Tour, definitely check it out. And thank you once again for watching Dublin and for coming into my city of Dublin. And I'll see you next time in Trails of Ireland. Don't forget to sign up, jjcabinets.ie, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you next time.